Hi all, welcome to this Bundesliga Player of the Month SPC Guide for September, most likely looking like Kramaric, so fair play to him which would be well deserved. Um, card and stats obviously are provisional at the moment, but with special links as always much appreciated, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G's Legend, all the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. Comment down below who you think could win Bundesliga Player of the Month if it isn't Kramaric. Um, it seems pretty much academic looking at it, but um, because he's got a 1 on kicker for his first game and then he got 1.5 in the game against Bayern Munich so when you're getting pretty much uh, play, the, um, play the week for week 1 and then second week you are one of the best rated players again and you make the team of the week f um, it's usually what I mean by team of the week for kicker um, kicker is the German um, media outlet that EA c like to rely on and it's actually a very good um, base point to work from but for the potential requirements of Kramaric we're going to assume he will be 87 rated on the basis that he will get an inform um, tomorrow and also from there the upgrades we would assume will go to inform so he is currently 82 rated he will go to 84 then 86 87 so an 87 rated a left wing card that is where he's been playing the two games so that is why he will have a position change from striker to left mid Regardless, we think of three potential options. Option one being one squad of 83 rated, 70 chemistry, one Bundesliga player required and a total cost potentially of around 30,000 coins. I wouldn't imagine it's going to be much more than that, simply because it would be probably pushing the boat too much at this stage of FIFA. You're wanting to make it a desirable card to do. If I'm honest, if that was 30k, I would definitely do that card. Very good shooting, very good dribbling, he's 4 star, 4 star. All you really need to put on that card, if I'm honest, is either Hawk or a Catalyst. I would probably put Catalyst if I'm honest. That would probably be me, but it would be a very, very usable card. For option 2, you've got 2 squads, of 82 rated, 70 chemistry, 1 Bundesliga in squad 1, so say for the first squad you probably just need an 82 rated that's say 1 Bundesliga but the rest of the squad can be whatever and for the second squad it can be whatever squad you like that's an 82 rated squad and the total cost potential of 25 to 30k. Then maybe kind of try and base it around how like Pukki was done eh, last year and it would be quite feasible. Um, remember as well, 70 chemistry is the highest end, it could easily be 60 chemistry. Um, it depends how they want to go about it. 60, 70 chem seems most logical. It depends how they want to kind of do it as well. There is quite a bit of flexibility at 70 chemistry because we would assume most people would be packing a lot of the cards that are like your 81s, 82s, 83s in those starter packs or your initial pile of packs. 60 chemistry is the same applies, so you'd have like 11 um, loyalty boost to work off and it's not a problem. For option 3 is just one squad, this is the very cheap end, if they were to really kind of try and say right, we're going to make it cheap, desirable and for everyone to do, so it's almost like how they did Pukki and Vardy uh, last year. So, and it's one squad of just an 82 rated, 60, 70 chem, one Bundesliga total cost of 15 to 20k that would be the other way about it like the as I said the highest end you're probably looking the reason why it would be 20k is because people would push up a lot push the price up just that little bit to kind of do it if he's desirable now in terms of potential squads you, um, if it's an 82 raid the formula to go by is two 81s and nine 82s and then an 83 rated squad is 9 times 83 and 2 times 82. And for the 82 rated squad, we've gone with Bowman, the Bender brothers, then Ginter, Ruli, Rakitic, Ramsey, Kadira, Mario Fernandez, Marco Arnautovic, and Vaslik. That works perfectly fine if it's like a 60 70. If it's 70 chem, we're assuming that you would have packed all these players. That's what you'd assume. If you're, um, but you would play about with that squad anyway to make it work a bit more. You'd probably take out Arnautovic for like a La Liga striker, um, say for example, or someone that's a winger. But also at the same time, 
if it's 60 chemistry, it works perfectly fine. For an eight, the same for the 83 rated squad of 9 times 83 and 2 times 82, we've gone with Paul Lopez, Trippier, Romagnoli, Acherbi, Vertonghen, Ruben Neves, João Matinho, Dele Alli, Edin Visca, um, yeah, Edin Visca, Edin Dzeko, and uh, Martin Dubravka um, to make up that particular team. And the just to kind of clarify as well, the 81s for the 82 rate squad are Kadira and Bender, as in the centre back version of Bender. For the 82s that compile the squad for the 83 rate squad, that is um, Ruben Neves and um, Joao Matinho. Um, I forgot that, if I've got that right. I'm sorry, Ruben Neves and in fact we've actually kind of bulked up just a little bit higher than we should have now that I've realised. Um, so that just kind of shows right away we've been able to, but you've got plenty of, like Vertonghen you can take out actually if I'm honest. You can put an R82 in um, that fits, that shall, like Mario Fernandez for example. I've just realised when I've looked at my own squad again that it's marked up for ratings so you're basically giving you're making yourself pay a little bit extra but the reason why I've built these two particular teams is this theory being that Visca and Paul Lopez, Joe Matinho, Ruben Neves and Jekyll, these players are going to be like the cheapest 82s and 83s at the start of the game that is the theory and while well, the Bender Brothers, for example, because that's like a hyperlink of dreams, um, at the start it might prove a little bit pricey, but you might get lucky. You generally can get lucky if you do um, your patience with it. Like just set the parameters to Bayer Leverkusen and then set them to, like, say, German defenders. Yes, you might get John Finta, but um, it's worth playing about with. And I think if Pfizer and others are. But go, like, you'd be able to be per persevere and like Vaslik and Rakitic they're not desirable cards at this stage of FIFA like Rakitic is a massive downgrade from his 86 obviously but if I was honest with the 83 rate squad you would probably just go like um, Mario Fernandez over for Tongan but the reason why you try and, you're trying to do all these flexibilities by the end of the day though if you're doing it from scratch I would fundamentally think that both of these kind of like squads would work perfectly fine for like cheapness and it would kind of be the near enough like the cheapest available that you can get at this like stage of FIFA because a lot of these players like Mario Fernandez like they might make they're just he's just a prime SBC fodder card unless you're going to build like a Russian league squad if he was Brazilian then you wouldn't probably use him because he's he'd be um, quite a desirable little card. But for me, Kramaric looks a given. It then just becomes a case of waiting for the requirements. If the SBC looking at dates, if I'm honest, if the vote dropped say this weekend, I'm assuming it might drop anywhere from like the ninth to the following dates like the 9th to the 16th of um, October but I think because of everything going on like awards might be given um, different times and because they might not say present them at like the as usual the process might be just a little bit different um, for like award presentation but as I said all stats that are on the card are just uh, potential because we don't know how the upgrades if C gets the inform but also how upgrades in general are going to work till we see the first one then we'll get a clearer idea but for me I feel like I'm definitely probably I would probably do it and I'm a bit more inclined to do an SBC I feel this year compared to previous but I suppose we will see in due course let me know folks so in the comments down below what your thoughts are in regards to the player of the month for SBC, if you feel that the um, squads that are predicted um, are logical and um, would you say that they're cheap but also you think they would 
tick a lot of the requirements. As I said, the formations obviously up for debate as well, remember, but hopefully you find it useful. So as always, sub to the channel if you're new. Take it all, and I'll catch you all later.